Let us turn to Numbers, Book of Numbers, Genesis, Exodus, Leviticus, Numbers, chapter 11. Thank you, Lord, for bringing Nepo safely here and giving him such help and blessing and a soul burden and giving him that strength that he needs to go back and share with his people. And we thank you for their faith and for their childlikeness and commitment, dedication to thee, to walk in light as thou art in the light. We give thee praise for the victory of the ingathering through Jesus Christ and the Holy Ghost. Amen. And when the people complain, chapter 11, book of Numbers, and when the people complained, it displeased the Lord, and the Lord heard it. And his anger was kindled, and the fire of the Lord burnt among them, and consumed them that were in the uttermost parts of the camp. Here the children of Israel uh, were found displeased and they uh, were living in the village of complaint and uh, this uh, complaint of theirs uh, grieved God and disappointed him and because of their disobedience and their unthankfulness the fire of the Lord descended and consumed. And whenever fire consumes, it's not there anymore. It was, but it isn't. Consumed. It said the fire of the Lord descended and consumed them that were in the uttermost pots of the camp. And time and again, uh, the children of Israel complained. And Moses said, you are stiff-necked people. And God wanted them to follow and not to doubt and to have faith to be a obedient people. And in the life of obedience, complaint not present. In the life of disobedience, complaint is common and prevalent. And so therefore, as we lay aside every weight and sin that would so easily beset us to run with patience the race he has set before us, there is instead of complaint and murmuring, there is a rejoicing and there is an expression of thanksgiving that is overwhelming coming from the heart of the obedient stranger pilgrim pressing onward to the mark for the prize of the high calling of God in Christ Jesus. And so we see in this case that when they complain, it's so easy for us to complain, isn't it? And to find fault that the power of God, the fire, came down and consumed them to the uttermost parts of the camp, complaining instead of being thankful and being grateful they complained and so God descended in a fire and consumed them to teach them that we must have faith and appreciate what we have Amen. and not want something more but be grateful for the little the somewhat or the lesser. So therefore, revival comes to the heart of those that live in obedience. For in the life of obedience, there isn't a question or a complaint or a murmur, but there is abounding faith and power and sweetness and communion and knowing the power of his abiding as we go forward like lights in the world. 
to bring in the sheaves. Bringing in the sheaves, bringing in the sheaves. We shall go rejoicing, bringing in the sheaves. Bringing in the sheaves, bringing in the sheaves. We shall come rejoicing, bringing in the sheep. So as we go forth, we go forth with gladness, we go forth with praise, we go forth with thanksgiving. We go forth with rejoicing to bring the lost to the place of rest, to the place of salvation, to the precious blood of the Lamb, that we might be transformed and brought from complaint, the city of complaint and murmuring, to the place of the abounding, glorious joy of Jesus, the Christ. For he said the fruit of the Spirit is love, joy, peace, long-suffering, gentleness, goodness, faith, temperance, and meekness. Against such there is no law. And therefore, as we go out, we go out in love, filled with love, overflowing with joy, for the joy of the Lord is our strength. And therefore, we resist the enemy. And we will not, by the grace of God, complain, but we will be grateful for what he's given us this wonderful relationship in victory in the presence of him that giveth rest and peace and joy by the blood of the Lamb and this wonderful work of the Holy Spirit in his word that abides as we follow in obedience and childlikeness. So therefore let us press up and rejoice and say, Lord, not my will, but thy will be done not looking at the difficulties, not looking at the trials, not looking at what we do not have, but be glad for what we do possess. And we press with joy and gladness and thanksgiving uh, for this wonderful, wonderful gift that we rest in. His great salvation through the blood of the Lamb that's brought us from the darkness into a marvelous light and set our feet upon a rock and established our goings as we go forth in his likeness to love all peoples of the world as he loves us. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Ghost. Let's all stand for a moment, please.